My name is Saima Lodi. My specialty is internal medicine. I chose to become a doctor for a number of reasons, and they're, they're rather straightforward. I came from a very academic family. My father is a physicist, and I'm one of three sisters, and he encouraged all of his daughters to go into medicine, and we all did. And it was one of those things that was an expectation. And as I got into medical school, I realized that this is really truly what I was meant to do. But over the years of my practice, which is now since 1998, uh, I've developed more of a female-based practice. I enjoy women's health. It just happens to be what my practice has evolved into as a female in internal medicine. So I do a lot of that and I've developed an interest in that. I have an interest primarily in wellness and maintenance and I have a healthy background myself as somebody who exercises and uh, try to promote that and incorporate my expectations of my own health into my discussions with my patients. A patient comes to me feeling vulnerable, often afraid, and it's very important as a provider, as a physician to respect that, to respect confidentiality and to listen. That is the most important part. I think your provider has to be somebody who listens to you when you're the patient. We need to have an open mind as providers. We need to listen. We need to take into account other influences and we have to be flexible. And if you keep all of that in mind and foster that communication in that 15 minute short period of time or 30 minute short period of time, you can build on that as our medical culture has changed over the years, then I've been asked that question by patients themselves, is what do you do for me? What can you do for me? And the answer is everything. So I can manage all of their complaints, whether it is primarily managed by a specialist or not. Ultimately, they can come to me if they need to be redirected, if something changes in their specialty care if their specialist leaves or doesn't accept their insurance anymore, the patient can come back to me so I know what's going on. I can coordinate care between all the specialists. I can communicate with those specialists for the patient. Let them know if they even need to see a specialist. There is a lot that I can do that patients may not be aware of. Not everybody needs to see a dermatologist or a gynecologist or a cardiologist for every complaint that they may have. So I can make it easier for them, make it more cost effective, make it more efficient, and probably make it better. That's the hope.